There is a concept in A-level physics that recently over 50% of students did not get correct. Let's make a practice problem to showcase it. We have some parallel plates and let's say that we have connected them to some sort of a power supply and there's going to be a potential difference between them. Let's say that this one here is at zero volts and this one here is at 100 volts to make the numbers easier to calculate. Shall we say that the distance between them is let's say two meters. So there's going to be an electric field between the plates which will be uniform and in this direction. Now let's say that we put a particle which is positive so something like a little proton like a little test charge and then we move it from position one to a position somewhere diagonally here let's call this one position two. Now let's put in some numbers so let's say that the vertical distance to go down here if this is two meters I don't know should we just call that 0.6 meters let's assume the diagram is not up to scale and let's say that this distance here will be 1.3 three meters. I'm just making some numbers here. And this particle right here is a proton. Now my question is what is the total change of electrical potential energy when I move this proton from position one to position two? My first step in answering this question is to simply calculate my electric field strength. So I'm going to say that because the field is uniform that E is equal to V over D which is just 100 over 2 which is 50 volts per meter and this is going to be really significant. The aspect which is really counterintuitive is that this vertical distance here is irrelevant. Now why is that? If I was to release the proton from here it will fly off towards the negative plate and will reach it with some speed. If I was to release it a little bit lower it will also reach the negative plate with the same speed. If I was to release it here same again. However if I was to release the proton from here it will accelerate for a little bit less and reach this at a lower speed and if I was to release it from here at lower speed still. The units here are really important. Volts per meter. Well one meter will be 50 volts so 1.3 will be just a little bit over that so 1.3 multiplied by 50 will give me a change of potential between those two points which is just equal to 65 volts. And now all I need to do is use my equation that work done and hence energy, electrical potential energy, is equal to my charge multiplied by my potential difference. Okay, well because this particle is a proton this will be equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 multiplied by 65 giving me an answer of about 1.04 times 10 to the power of minus 17 joules. What you need to do next is have a look at another video in which over 90% of the students did not get correctly and this video is right over here.